Another thing you could do with inclined plane is just to make it to, to make it sink in. Uh, would be if you're, you know, if you're like drawing um, a ramp or something, and then uh, you have both like an up and a down ramp next to each other. This kind of happens. Uh, this kind of happens a lot, actually. A lot of times I like to uh, make a little uh, crossing point instead of drawing a point for a vanishing point. Uh, it can be a little more precise. So let's say I have a, uh, a landing down here. And then, uh, you know, at the landing, there's an up and a down ramp coming down the middle of it. So I'm going to find the middle using our little basic X method. And uh, go to the vanishing point. Boom, right there. So I'm going to have one ramp coming, coming uh, from up to down and then from the this down further so I've got my upward uh, vanishing point picked out I'm gonna go towards that there go towards that boom pretty simple drop my parallel line there and then I'm going to uh, now what you'll notice here is that this gets covered up, uh, so I'm not even going to draw that. I'm just going to go ahead and draw that one receding to this other vanishing point. I'm going to drop my horizontal there. So here you can kind of like see an application of it. If you wanted to like, you know, draw a railing, you could do that too. It'd be pretty simple. And then here, you know, all these all these railing points would be going towards our original vanishing point, uh, and the rest of the railings would be going towards the other vanishing points. Pretty simple. Um, uh, so play around with uh, with inclined planes. You'll see them all over the place. Um, and this is actually how you'll be able to draw stairs as well. You can approximate the incline, uh, then draw little stairs on them. Um, it's pretty simple.